There's a public housing project called Digstown that absolutely proves the way we are planning and building cities under capitalism is irrational. See, for a long time, this land had been used for public housing, but like most public housing developments, it was very low income, high crime, high depression, highly polluted, not very ecologically sustainable. In the United States, what we called the project. But Digstown was redesigned in an experimental initiative to try and create a more human-centered neighborhood. They connected the houses via sidewalks and bike paths. They created a lot of public spaces like public gardens and parks where people could meet outside the home. This facilitated human interaction, which makes people happier. They also had a lot of plant life and the houses were made more sustainable ecologically. And guess what? Crime, poverty, depression, it went bye-bye. Vastly decreasing just because of the way the neighborhood was restructured. Think about that the next time you hear someone like Ben Shapiro try to place the blame on individuals for crime and poverty.